Hello and welcome back to the Zone Focus channel. My name is Chris. Thank you again for stopping by. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about why it's important that we have good light sources when it comes to our workstation. So I'm going to share some stuff with you guys and hopefully you can take something away from this video and uh, make your workstation a little better, a little more productive. Let's go. Since I moved into my apartment earlier this year, first thing I wanted to do when I got in here was to try to build out a little workstation, a place where I could have a desk and uh, be able to sit down and really be able to kind of do some work. But the one thing I was using for light was my overhead light. And uh, I thought I was all right. Little did I know that I was missing something very important to a desk, and that is a proper lamp. Now that takes me into what I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video, which is this lamp by BenQ. This lamp is called the BenQ e-reader uh, LED lamp. Now, just to be clear, this lamp was provided to me by BenQ uh, and in return for them giving me the lamp, uh, they asked that I share my opinions on the lamp with you guys. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm not getting paid for this video, but I did get the lamp for free. So just keep that in mind. The video will be timestamped. I'll put the timestamps right in here uh, for you guys. So if you wanna jump around, you can just jump around. That's cool. The first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is the design of the lamp. Let's start at the base. Now the base is heavy. It's very, very heavy. It kind of caught me off guard when I got this thing in the mail because it was kind of difficult to pick up. The box is really large and it was way heavier than I ever expected a lamp to be. Now most of that weight is centered in the base. Uh, the base is extremely solid and I don't think you're gonna be knocking this lamp over anytime soon unless you are really, really trying to get this thing off the table. Now the cord is actually braided into the arms of the lamp. It runs up the, the, the column of the lamp, goes around the hinge and then run, runs up to the head of the lamp. All of this is kind of uh, integrated into the design of the lamp so that you're not really dealing with cords flapping around. Another nice touch. Now when it actually gets to the head of the light, the head of the light is in an arc shape. Now this design is a little different than most lamps that I've ever seen. Like I said, most lamps are a cone shape with a light bulb in the center, it kind of creates a circular light on the table or desk or wherever you have it. Now this one has an arc shape and the arc is full of LED lights. Cool thing about this is, is that because of the shape of the light, it casts a really nice shape of light down onto your desk that matches the design of most desks because most desks are what? rectangular. So that's a nice touch. Continuing on with the features of the lamp. Uh, like I said before, there are two controls on the lamp, the silver ring and the knob control. So the silver ring is a t is an on and off switch, which you just tap your finger on, you touch it and it turns on the lamp or you tap it again and it turns off. Um, and the other feature that the silver ring does is it actually has an automatic light reader ambient light maneuverer thingy. I don't know what the exact term that BenQ uses for it, but it's like an automatic adjust. So you put your finger on the silver ring and you hold it there and the light will blink. And what it is doing is reading the ambient light in the room and it tries to correct itself so that it matches the light in the room. Simple. You tap your finger on it, you hold it there and the light will adjust itself to uh, fit the surroundings that it's in. Now, the other thing is uh, the knob controller. There's two things you can do with this thing. So you can press it, and as you press the knob, it changes between two features, which is the light temperature and the light intensity. So if you push it one time, you will be able to adjust the control of the uh, light intensity. So you can make the light brighter or you can make it dimmer. And the second control is if you hit it and you turn it, then you can control the temperature of the light. This entire video, you might've been wondering, okay, like, bro, like you make photography videos. Like, what does this have to do with photography? Great question. This is more about your work area. This is about your space, a place where you can create, a place that you can kind of make ideas, uh, a place that you can use your computers. For me, a place where I can edit video, a place where I can look at photography books, a place where I can clean photography gear. All of these things are the things that I use this lamp for. Uh, for example, if um, 
I do have like a lens, for example, to clean. It's easy for me to sit down, turn this lamp on, and it gives me a great overhead light so I can really see what I'm doing when I'm working with my hands. Another thing is uh, I'm reading a book or looking at a photography book, for example. If I'm looking at a photography book, it's always nice to have good light for your uh, reading experience. And of course, the other things you can do with this thing is you can use it if you're writing. You know, you can use this if you're using uh, your computer. At least for me, I like to draw as well. This is a great little lamp to have overhead if I'm drawing. And then, of course, if you're making top down videos, you can always use this lamp to light up your space. Uh, a couple of things that I would definitely change is one, I would add some type of feature to be able to see your settings. The other thing I would change is that this lamp didn't come with a clamp. Uh, my desk is fairly small, actually really small. I want a bigger desk, but for the uh, like the desk layout that I have right now, the base of this lamp takes up a lot of space. And on a small desk, you need as much real estate as you can get for other things. In the actual manual book that came with the lamp, there is instructions on how to use the lamp with a clamp. Ha, lamp with a clamp. That was like Dr. Seuss, but I'll let that pass. So you can actually put a clamp on the end of the lamp. I did it again. My God, I'm on a roll. And uh, put it on the table. But the lamp didn't come with the clamp. <laughs> it's like, I can't, I can't, how you do this? I can't just, I, you can't write this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get past this. I don't know why that's so entertaining. I'm childish, basically. That's why that's funny. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> if I had that, it would be good for me because this table is small. <laughs> Transitioning to my final thoughts. Uh, one last major thing that I would change about this thing is the price of the lamp. It's expensive. I'm going to put the price right here. This is the going price for the lamp right now. And it is a lot higher than most lamps that I've ever seen personally. Now, am I saying don't buy it? No. What I'm saying is, is if you have the means to buy it, I think this lamp is totally worth it. But I would not tell anybody who doesn't have the means to get a lamp that costs this much. Go buy it right now. You need this. That's not what I'm saying. If you are in the market for a quality lamp at a premium price that provides very good features and very nice uh, light, then this is the lamp for you. But if you're in the market for a lamp that's budget friendly, that might not produce the best light, but gives you light for your area, maybe this ain't the one for you. But that's all I got to say about that. That's the only thing that I would uh, change. My final thoughts on it is I enjoy it. I use it every day. This is my light. I don't use my overhead light anymore. I literally come in because I usually work until late afternoon. And I hit this thing, turn it on, and this lights up my area. And this is the only light that I need. So, um, yeah. As always, subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, stay zone focused. I'll holla at you later. Peace.